Hey, what's up everybody? Too Tall Toby here, and today I've got a really good sheet metal tip for you. I'm gonna show you how to take a cut extrude, put it into your sheet metal model while it's in the flat, and still have it show up when you turn that model back into the form. Ow! So this is a real common thing that people run into when they're working in sheet metal. And if you work in sheet metal a lot, I hope that you'll join us next week, March 28th at 10 a.m., right here on this channel, where I'm gonna be delivering a live stream called Toby's Sheet Metal Tips and Tricks 2023. This is gonna be an epic live stream, chock full of sheet metal tips and tricks. And if you join us live, you can participate in the chat, you can ask me questions, you can hang out with your buddies in the chat. It's gonna be a party. If you can't join us live, that's okay. The recording will be available immediately right here on the same YouTube channel. But I hope that you can join us live next week, March 28th at 10 a.m. for Toby's Sheet Metal Tips and Tricks 2023. Now, this challenge that we're looking at today is illustrated here on this print. The manufacturer would like to create this box with a, a pass-through hole here up in the corner, but wants to use a standard 25 millimeter diameter punch to create that hole. This is something that a lot of sheet metal users struggle with, especially in the very beginning of sheet metal, because a lot of times when you create that hole in the flat, it doesn't show up when you go back into the formed view. And the reason why is because of what I like to call the SolidWorks sheet metal sandwich. And what I'm referring to there is everything that you do in sheet metal should land between these two features. If it doesn't land between those two features, it's not gonna show up when you go into the formed view. And so to illustrate that, what we could do is we could do a control Z here just to go back to that first sketch and do a base flange. So with the first sketch, you can see that there's nothing in the tree except for that sketch. When we do a base flange, we are immediately presented with what I call the sheet metal sandwich. You've got your sheet metal feature up top and your flat pattern feature down at the bottom and everything else you create should land between those two slices of bread. So if I pick this edge here, for example, and I do an edge flange, we can see that SolidWorks Sheet Metal automatically creates that feature in between the top and the bottom of the sheet metal sandwich. So everything that we create is landing here inside of the sandwich. If I create a cut extrude on that face, that cut extrude will also show up inside of that sheet metal sandwich. And that's important because then if I go into the flat pattern or back into the formed view, everything looks correct. Well, the problem is if I go into the flat pattern and then I create a cut extrude, the cut extrude will show up outside of that sheet metal sandwich. And so what I mean here is that if we look at the tree now, we've got the top of our sheet metal sandwich, the bottom of our sheet metal sandwich, and then down here, the cut extrude, that's no good. And the reason why that's no good is because when we go back into the formed view, that cut extrude does not show up. This is something that a lot of sheet metal users struggle with, especially when they're first getting started. And so I hope that that explanation of the sheet metal sandwich at least helps you understand if you're, if you're in the right spot or not. If it's outside of the sheet metal sandwich, it's not gonna work, it's no good. And so the way that we create a cut extrude across a bend so that it does end up inside of the sheet metal sandwich is we select this face to hold for an unfold command. So I'm just gonna click in the background so that face is not selected. I'm gonna click unfold. And you'll see that the first input parameter here is which face do we want to remain fixed or stationary? This face. This face will remain fixed or stationary. Which bends do we want to unfold? This bend here. We hit the green check mark and now a new feature is added inside of the sheet metal sandwich. So here's the sandwich and here is that new feature unfold two. And so that means that we can now select this face, begin a sketch, create a cut extrude, and we will be happy to see that this cut extrude will also exist inside of the sheet metal sandwich. There's the cut extrude, here's the sandwich. And then we can choose the fold command to reform that bend. So we choose fold, bends to fold. It's gonna be this bend here, fixed face. It automatically selects the correct fixed face. So that's pretty nice, boom we're back into the formed view. And now we have a sheet metal part that can be flattened and formed and looks correct in both views. So if we go back to that original challenge that we had, here we can see it without that extra cut extrude, we can choose this face up top, choose unfold, choose this bend, hit the green check mark, select this face, begin a sketch, create a circle with a standard punch diameter of 25 millimeters, Extrude cut, punch that through that face. Then we can choose fold 
And a lot of times I just click this button here, collect all bends. That'll go around and get all of the bends that are currently unfolded. We can hit the green check mark and there we go. We've created our new features. They all exist over here in between the two slices of bread of the sheet metal sandwich. That's what we want. And that means that we're gonna be able to create a nice clean drawing that shows the correct geometry in both the formed and the flattened states. So I hope that you enjoyed that sheet metal tip. If you did and you wanna see a lot more, be sure to come back next week, March 28th at 10 a.m. for the Toby's Tips and Tricks 2023 live stream. Of course, if you enjoyed this tip, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Let me know down in the comments below what you learned from this video and be sure to share this video with other SolidWorks enthusiasts. I'll see everybody in the next episode.